Hello, my peeps. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> it's been a day. Um, I, I have there's so much going on, and I am so happy every time my son says he wants to go skate or play or do something. But when they're unplanned and they keep in true, oh, anyways, that's part of the reason for the hat. Uh, the other part of the reason for the hat is. I always have this reflection. Like as soon as I look, I can see um, computer screens reflected in my glasses. Funny enough, these are computer glasses. So I guess is that is that how it's meant to be? I don't know. Um, so I thought if I wear a hat, does that cut down on the reflection? And does that somehow mean I won't? Uh, it doesn't. It didn't help any. <laughs> So we're just going to give it a minute here while I ramble. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to try. Just a minute. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll see there's still reflection, though. It's a whole lot brighter, but there's still reflection. Ah. Go figure. OK, well, let's just get going, shall we? <laughs> I'm a few minutes late. Hello, Mary. Um, I'm a few minutes late, but um, that was just because I couldn't make anything work today. I've had many distractions, many delays, you know, things taking longer than they're supposed to, so I'm just winging it. And then I went down a bit of a rabbit hole over rules and regulations and what can constitute it. And so my research has shown me that the three elements required to be considered gambling in Alberta, I only have one of them. You get a prize. Um, the other two don't apply. So there's no purchase and none of this is by chance. This is There's an actual purpose to this. So I started with that, but then I thought I should make sure everybody knows that that's like the deal here. So I, uh, I started Googling about disclaimers and rules and to make some, oh, and to, good Lord, the rabbit hole I went down. So I'm gonna write something down, but um, hopefully it won't get too wordy. So here's, here's the idea. Let me give you the background on, <laughs> see if you knew what it was called, that'd be funny. But um, the background on a new event that's gonna start on Monday called What's in Your Background? <laughs> um, so here's how it all started. And, and I'm gonna stay on this view for a little bit and then I'm gonna go down to my, my uh, table here, but, um, but I need you to be able to see behind me. So when, Everybody started working from home and um, dreaded COVID and uh, started doing Zoom meetings and team meetings and all these different online versions and way more Facebook lives than that. I noticed that, and everybody admits to doing it, so that people couldn't help it. If, if your background wasn't blurred, then as soon as you get on a new call with people, you would very subtly sit there and go, mm hmm, and you would like scope out everything in their background, whether it was just out of curiosity whether you were like, oh, that's a cool idea, I'm gonna do that, or whether you were just like, hmm, I didn't know that. <laughs> so it got to be a thing though, is of like checking out people's backgrounds and some people got very creative with stuff and some people staged them. And there was, I saw all sorts of advertisements for what to put in your background and what not to put in your background. And I thought, you know what's in my background? Whatever's on the wall behind me. And at one point I had my desk turned a different way. And what was behind me was hundreds of stamp sets. and. <laughs> of my work calls before I retired, um, somebody had said, wow, you really like to read. And I said, actually, those are not books. Those are stamp sets. And they went, wow, you really like to stamp. So, you know, we get to know each other this way. So that's, a, that's part of how it started. And then I thought, well, I should be intentional about this. I should start hiding things in the background just to see if people notice them, because that's how I roll. So then I thought, ooh, this could be fun. Like we, I could work with, they could have some fun playing with that. And I had once done a scavenger hunt for a different demonstrator who was just hopping through social media. And it was, it was related, I think it was related to St. Patrick's Day or Easter or something. And so she was hiding words in different things, like in the text of what she was writing. And the idea was you had to go um, like for one thing. And at the end she would say, so check my Instagram out tomorrow. And you'd go to Instagram the next day and look for this word. And at the end, I think it made a sentence or something. But it was, kind of, it was, neat. It was cool. So I thought, I'm going to try something like that. And then I thought, okay, okay, 
<laughs> let's let's figure out how we can make this work. And it originally started out, I really, I, yes, I, you've heard me say the word bingo. So I thought, well, let's just do it like a bingo game. And then, so I started looking into how I would need to do this. And we're not calling it bingo just because I don't want anybody to assume that it has anything to do with like a traditional game of bingo, because not so much. Um, but that's what started me on it. So I'm like, okay, so how many items would I need and how many things and how many puts on the card and I wonder how long it would take and how am I going to show them stuff? And then I realized this is going to be a fair bit of work. So I thought, I got to make this worth it. <laughs> Quite honestly, I thought I got to make this worth it. So then as I'm thinking through it, I thought, well, in a way, this is good. Because what I really need is I need some people, sorry, I'm really all of a sudden became very self-conscious of the fact that I have like major half head going on here. Um, what I really need is for people to have a look at my social media, because I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff that I've never done before for the last, say, three, four months. And, and I would like, you know, some feedback and stuff. So I thought, well, I could get them going through like various different things and that will work great. But now that's, that's all about me. And this couldn't be all about me because why would anybody want to do it? Then I thought, well, no, because if I can get some feedback, then I can improve. So the social offering that I'm putting out there, whether it's the Monday challenge or Tuesday, I do show and tell with Tracy and I have a newsletter and I have a blog and I have, you know, pictures and all these different things. And the whole intent of all of that is to try to share what I love with you guys, because I do love stamp. And I could sit in my little room here all day long and stamp and craft and make things um, and just chat with people and, do, you know, but I'm trying to find ways to share that and I'm trying to find ways that are effective. So I thought, well, this will, this is good. If I can get people to go look at these things, then maybe they can comment on them and I can improve them and maybe it'll be better for, you know, what I'm offering. But I thought, well, that's, so that's good. And I mean, that's a, benefit to both of us. Then I thought, yeah, prizes. Prizes are a benefit to people too. So I decided to offer some prizes. So then it evolved into what it evolved into. So basically what we have is an event starting on Monday and I may do it once, I may do it more than once because really the intent was just to get everybody familiar with stuff and run through things for me and, and uh, give me some feedback and away we go. So who knows? It, it could turn out to be lots of fun and I could do it on a regular basis. One doesn't know. At this point, we're calling it an event. We're doing it for sure once. So I'm hoping that anybody who wants to participate will watch this first and have an idea what's going on. But um, so you can see right now in my background, oops, pointing the wrong way. Right here, I have a couple items. <laughs> this was part of the reason that we needed to be full screen. And my intent was that if I was doing any kind of a like show and tell or whatever, I would start at least at the beginning full screen so it was really easy to see what was on the background. But then I thought, this will take forever if I just do what's on the background. So then uh, I decided, well, I can, I can share the pictures in other ways. So I'm going to go really quickly here and switch my view. Make sure it caught up with me. There we go. Oops, I'm over here. I'm over in the corner. Um, so then I thought, well, there's other ways we're going to do this. So it's not all just going to be what's in the background, but it's two of the times it's going to be background. But that's where it all started was, hey, what's in the background? So what's going to happen is on Monday, I'm going to make a post, as I do on Mondays, telling you what the Monday challenge is. Now, the piece of paper I'm putting down now was the one we did this week. Not very odd. I have, I have two face cams going right now on my screen. There's one in the corner, and then there's me. I'm not really sure how that's happening. <laughs> oh, the joy of the technology. Okay, I'm just going to roll with it. Okay, so here's the Monday challenge, for example. And like I said, this was the one from last week, so I, I'm not, uh, this is not what it will specifically be. But I will post a picture that will say, hey, here's the Monday challenge. Within that Monday challenge, there will also be a link that says, if you would like to join the What's in Your Background event, click here to, uh, to register and get a, um, a sheet, a card, I don't know, whatever I'm going to call it. So... The form is going to be a, a MailChimp form, and you're basically, it, it'll just pop up a form. You're going to go in and put your name and address, 
the, the name and address, the address is so if you win a prize, I can mail it to you. Um, name and address, and you're going to check off saying, yes, I understand the rules of this game. And there'll be a little a thing you can read with the rules. And then you're, so you're going to do that. And then because I haven't figured out a way to randomly automate the thing, um, I will email you a PDF that shows you something like this. Oops, why are we all of a sudden not in the stream? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see why I'm doing that. Yeah, all, the technology was very wonky today. I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, so what, then what you'll get is one of these cards. It's a piece of paper. It's not really a card. Uh, that will show you some stuff. There's 16 little items on here. Now, I purposely did not pick stamp enough items. I did not pick an ink pad or a stamp set or a card um, because I didn't want to accidentally confuse anybody by, like if, if I was doing my um, show and tell Tuesday and I, I had my snail on the table beside my project and snail was one of the squares, I did not want to accidentally do that because that would have just thrown everything in. Because I have figured out what the items are. We have 24 different items. There's 16 squares on the card. So not every card will have the exact same items on it. So as soon as, as soon as I get them all listed, I'm going to write down the order of what I'm going to do so that each day I can look and know what the intent was. Okay, this is what's supposed to go next. This is what's supposed to go next. So the order will be predetermined. The cards will be random. You'll randomly get a card. So there's no, but I didn't, all that work that went into that, I didn't want to screw it up by having all of a sudden, you know, a snail or something in it. So these are just random pictures I picked for today. Uh, the other pictures are all just like mementos I have around my house. So as we do this, I guess you'll get to know me because then I have stuff on there. So this is what you're gonna get though, is your card. And we're gonna do it, yes, like a bingo game. You're gonna, the, the first thing we're gonna do is anybody who can get a line. So if you can get four, four items in a row, either this way, either up and down, side to side, or one of the two diagonals. You get four items. You come back onto the, the post that I put up uh, that says official bingo post, and you tell me, hey, I got, I got a line. I double check and make sure. Away we go. And then we're going to go to like full card, which means you have all of the squares filled in. You've seen all of the 16 items on your card. And um, you yell bingo in the comments, I guess, and away we go. So, I kind of figured if I if I called six things a week, then it would maybe take four weeks. It might take less. It might take more. I really have no idea. Um, I didn't want to do it too fast or too many items, um, because uh, if it's done in three days, then nobody will have it, like people won't have a chance to play. Like because I don't expect that everybody on Monday is going to go instantly and do everything. So I wanted to have like a few days for everybody to figure out what was going on. And if they start to see random posts because they don't see every single one, they'll see what it is, go back and look it up, figure out what it is, kind of catch up and stuff. So I wanted it to at least like start slow. So I'm going with six and we're going to see how it works. Um, the other thing that I would like though, as I said, is some feedback. So one prize for getting the first person who gets to straight line. One prize for the full card, slightly bigger than the first one. And then and I haven't, um, I'm, I have to double check something on the prizes before I say what the prizes are, but um, we're talking like embellishment stamps at DSP bundle, something in that range. And then the third prize is going to go for everybody who comments. So if you go on to the Monday challenge, and you comment that you're looking forward to trying this one, or you post a card on Friday that says, hey, I've done this, or you comment at all on any of this stuff. And, and I'm happy to have, even if you send me a, like a, a private message that says, um, I, like, I like this event, you need to give me more time to do it, or I like this event, but um, it's not working, or I like your inspiration, but could you do more mystery cards or more sketch challenges versus pictures? Like any kind of feedback, any kind of participation, any kind of engagement in these posts. Um, I will each time you do that, like so for each event, if you post 10 times in one Facebook Live, you get one entry. Um, because otherwise, I don't want people to feel like 
they have to post and post and post and post and post because <laughs> I'll never be able to keep up with that many comments. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have the prizes. And then once, so once the full card is announced, I will announce that. And then I will take all the people's names who commented, which I'm going to try to just keep it running to all you have people's names to put in there. And then uh, you have to be registered, though. You can't just comment. You have to be registered, go in, get the, uh, get the card, sign off on the event, and do it. And then we'll do it. Once I've done it the first time, I'll look at it again and see, you know, did people enjoy it? Because I'm entertained by the idea of doing this and by hiding things in the background and such. Um, but maybe not everybody is. So let's see how it works. Uh, so on Monday, I'm going to post. You're going to go in and register and get a card. And let's say this is your card. Oh, and here we go with the freezing again. Well, darn it. <laughs> I don't understand why this keeps doing this. Huh. As I stare at it and do nothing because I have no idea what. I'm back. <laughs> I have no idea why my camera that goes onto my desk keeps freezing. Alrighty, I'm gonna get, I took a picture. I was trying to get profile pictures. I do not like having my picture taken. And so I had a picture where I was like, hmm, I think I'm gonna put that as my profile picture for next week because still technology baffles me. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this a different way then. <laughs> so, oh, it's gonna be entertaining. Okay, so on Monday, I'm going to post, and you're going to be like, oh, I would love to try this event. So you're going to go on, and you're going to go to the link, and you're going to sign up to get a card, and you're going to get one of these cards. And now I have lots of reflections, so let's see how it works. I'm going to make it not reflect. There we go. So you're going to see it, and you're going to notice that Monday will have some form of a challenge on it. So Monday's going to have like a challenge, right? And, I, and I, this will be in the instructions of when things will be posted. So there'll be a picture on Facebook which will then be posted to um, Pinterest afterwards for those people who don't do Facebook. And beside it, let's say, there's a picture that looks like this. So here's the Monday challenge, make a card that's inspired by this. Here's a picture of a box of onion soup. <laughs> if you like onion soup, it was kind of random. But nonetheless, the point was to not confuse it with the actual item. So you see that on Monday. So then you will look at your card and oh, look at this down here in the corner, we have a box of onion soup. So doing whatever you want. You remember in the in the good old days, I remember going to bingo once and I was scared of the women beside me because I, I accidentally put my hand in their space and made a comment about, um, oh, look at the cute little gnome or whatever it was that she had. And I got my hand too close and that was her lucky totem and whoo. And so she barked at me and uh, and then I was just like, I was scared. I kind of just sat like this. <laughs> I didn't want to move my arms too much. I didn't want to get too close. They used to have like 50 cards going. I had four, I think. Um, but anyways, back in the good old days where you had daubers that you used to stamp your card as you went. Um, I have no idea. If people still want, I mean, it's not like we don't have stamps and ink. Um, can you see that? I just circled it. Just some way of indicating that, oh, look, I saw an onion soup. I have onion soup on my card. And then the next day, it's Tuesday. Now it's Tuesday. So now we're going to go in and and uh, I'm going to show you some show and tell and I'm going to show you some great thing of how to do something. <laughs> so you're going to come in and I'm going to start the Facebook live, preferably without my hat on, um, like this, so that you can see above me, there happens to be a container of salt. Uh, I was going to use the pepper, but the salt is almost full, the pepper is almost empty. So I didn't think the pepper would show up very well, but as it turns out, neither does the salt. But trust me, there's a, a container of salt. So I'm gonna look at my little card and go, ooh, I just happen to have a container of salt on my card. Oh, look at that. There's a jar of peanut butter. Oh, look, I happen to have a jar of peanut butter on my card. So this would have been so much better if my desk camera hadn't frozen. But So now you can see I have three things circled on my card. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hum along until the first person Posts and says, um, 
I, I got it. I have a straight line. I have whatever. So as I send you your card, I will keep track of what your card looks like. Um, but in the end, it might just be you show you like send me a picture of your circled card or whatever. Or if you want to stamp on it, you want to put X's on it, however you can to indicate. I will have a list of what was called and in what order. So when you show me your card, I'll be able to tell you if it was right or not. So here's the intent. There's going to be one picture in the Monday challenge post. There's going to be two items on the shelf behind me for the Facebook Live on Tuesday, which as soon as I'm done the Facebook Live, and I say as soon as, it takes me a few minutes sometimes to get the video to download and move it over and such. But as soon as I'm done, I post it on YouTube. So it'll be Facebook or YouTube for the videos. Um, on Wednesday, there's going to be a picture of an item in my newsletter. On Thursday, there's going to be a different item on the shelf behind me when I do my next Facebook Live. And on Saturday morning, there's going to be a picture of an item in my blog post. So that's how we're going to get six things. And that's how we're going to try out a bunch of different stuff. So if you do Facebook, stuff's generally on Facebook first because it's easiest. Let's face it. Um, but whatever goes on Facebook also goes on either Pinterest or YouTube, depending whether it's a picture or a video. And then mail list for the newsletter blog address. So for the first week, especially, I'm going to make a point of saying, um, my blog has posted today. If you haven't seen it? Here's the link. Um, and I think I might just put all of those addresses now that I say that on the sheet that comes with your card that kind of gives you the basic rules. I might just put all of the links on there just so people know where to find stuff. But as I said, I thought it would be fun to like mess around with what's in the background. Um, I thought it would be a nice way to have a review of social media and social offerings and see what people like and don't like because like I said I've been about three or four months of trying different things um and now I'd like to kind of get an idea what's what's working and what's not I can keep doing what works for me but that doesn't really help you guys any and I would rather help you guys than help me um I got a craft room full of stuff I don't need any help <laughs> I have all the fun I want um let me see what else did I write on my little thing just to make sure I'm saying everything I wanted to say um I am going to put this as um you have to be 18 plus and you have to be in Canada to do this. Um, as far as I can tell from checking everything online, I'm going to take it that I went down. Off. Um, it's not gambling or anything, but I think I'm better off for the trial run to stick with those rules just to make sure. So Canada, 18 plus. Uh, sorry to anybody else who sees this. <laughs> no, listen, Canada or not that old. Um, but yeah. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I have a feeling I might be answering a lot more of them in the first couple of days as I try to make it all make sense. But I'm hoping that all of the posts that I do in the first little bit, and I said I'll, I'll explain it a bit more in my newsletter and um, that it all makes sense in the end. It all started with the, hey, what's in the background? Hey, that's cool. And let's see what it, <laughs> if it evolves into something that works as I was hoping. So. That is what's in your background. Um, I'm gonna try one more time just because I, I'm really curious why my best camera freezes. So, and that every everything I do is a different, um, is a different, uh, a different amount of screen and video. And oh, I just made it worse. So that's not good. <laughs> nope, okay, I give up. We'll go back to this one. Maybe we won't. <laughs> oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. Okay, so I've shown this before and I will post it afterwards because this is not a very, uh, I got lots of reflection on it. But these little boxes here are the paper, pump, paper pumpkin add-on for January. So the kit has already closed. The kit is supposed to ship out today. It was a few days delayed, but it's supposed to ship out today. So anybody with paper pumpkin, you should be getting it next week. I find that whatever day it ships, within two or three days at the most, because it comes by a pure later, um, I think pure later, it's on my it's on my doorstep. So it doesn't generally take very long. So I'm fully expecting one to come next week. I'm very excited about heart shaped cards, cool stuff. The add on these little boxes, they had originally said that they wouldn't be available until the 25th of January, but whatever shipment delayed. The paper pumpkin by a few days 
They also managed to, in an attempt to get that all to speed back up again, they managed to get the other ones faster. So those kits are, or those um, add-ons are actually available today. So I will be putting in an order on Sunday. So if anybody wants to add theirs on just to uh, save, save some money on shipping, um, you can. The add-on is 1375 plus shipping and tax, like 10% shipping plus tax. So it's probably going to be about 16 bucks. And what you get is 20 boxes, 20 of the heart-shaped tags, and 10 yards of the gold twine to tie them on. The boxes are one and three quarters square. So they're a little bit smaller than we've had the clear boxes and the craft boxes. The little tiny squares, and then this, the ones I, I thought I had on my desk actually not that long ago. They're the ones that are in the current catalog that are like a white bottom with a gold top. Those boxes are all about two by two. So this is just a little bit smaller than those boxes that we've had in the past, but they're adorable. They have X and O's uh, embossed onto them, and they're just adorable. And you get 20 of them. So if you're making class treats or for anybody who actually goes to an office still, if you're like want to put little things on people's desks or little like, you know, just somethings. Uh, you get 20 of them, so that's a pretty good deal. So yes, if you want me to add on some of those to the order, uh, let me know. <laughs> if you'd like to get some free celebration stuff, you just have to take your 1375 and order, you know, five or six of them and get up on <laughs> the $60 mark. Or you, if there's other stuff you want to add on to the order, uh, for every $60 you spend right now, you get celebration. So that's a bonus too. So there you go. What's in your background? And some paper pumpkin boxes. And... Uh, Thanks for joining me on a Friday night. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. And I'm looking forward to Monday and to see uh, see what fun we can have starting on Monday with our What's in Your Background event. So have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for joining me.